Hey everybody, I'm Larry Trexler with Sim Products and today we're going to talk about the ORS system. The ORS system stands for OEM Refinishing System and what it's designed to do is to be able to speed up production in a body shop. What I mean by that is, is that every time we have a Sim School and I have technicians come in, I ask them, what are the bottlenecks for you in a shop? What costs you the most in form of, of time? And overwhelmingly, they always come back and say, you know what, every time it's time to trim out a part, we have to stop working on that vehicle. We have to take the part over to the painter. They have to, or the trim out guy, whichever way you have it. But they take it over and they have to wait for it to come back. So when we talk about that, and I ask them, I said, well, how long is that? Is it, you know, a couple hours? You tell me. And they always tell me, you know, if we're lucky, we get it back about, you know, half a day. Some of them will tell you that, you know, we're lucky if we get this back in the same day. Now, these are good shops. This isn't, you know, anything that, you know, where production isn't really in their mindset. This production is a huge part of what they do. So, to not be able to get a part back in the same day, that's an extra day of that vehicle being able to sit there that they can't do any work on. That's an extra rental vehicle charge for the insurance company. So, there's a lot that goes into that. So what we designed was is a system called the ORS that you can actually go in, trim out these parts right there on the shop floor. And what I mean by that is you know, when we talk about the 6-H laws within the, in the country, one of the things that's really nice about aerosols are aerosols are exempt from the 6-H laws, which allows them to be able to be shot right there on the shop floor. Now as soon as we came out with this system, the first part, the first people that started complaining, obviously we had our jobbers, the guys who actually sell our products, um, were complaining. It's like, well, you know, we sell paint, now you're trying to step on our toes. The second guy that complained on this thing was the, was the painter. And they're like, well, wait a minute, you're going to give the, t the, the body shop guy, the technician, uh, my trim out time. But one of the things that was really cool about this is that we followed body shops several months, not using our system and using our system. And a funny thing happened. The months that they actually used our system, they actually ended up buying more paint from the paint store. The painter actually made more money in time. And the reason was is because we were able to fix more cars. We were able to funnel more cars through a shop. So what we have with this system are three products that are part of the RS. We have Easy Coat, Factory Pack, and our 1K Clears. So with Easy Coat, we have nine colors of Easy Coat that's designed to duplicate the color of E Coat on a vehicle. Now you think, well, is that really important because you know this is going to be completely painted over anyway? But it is important. If you look at radiator supports or anything else on a vehicle, a lot of times you can see that it's clearly not 100% fully covered. So that's what Easy Coat is there for: is to be able to match that E Coat color. The next part of that is factory pack and factory pack is a true automotive urethane base coat system it is not lacquer and it's not enamel it's a regular base coat system we have 40 colors that are available in that and you can come in and you can spray right on top of, of the easy coat and then the last part of that is the 1khs clear our 1khs clear we have three different gloss levels we have a gloss a semi gloss and a matte finish so that you can actually be able to, to, to duplicate whatever sheen it is that you're trying to duplicate on the interior of that vehicle. Uh, so as far as the application, this is where things get uh, take a little bit of a turn for the better. Because when you look at each one of these products and you look at the back of the can and the instructions, we're always going to say, okay, for instance, easy coat. You know, two to three medium coats with a five to ten minute flash time between each one of those coats. And then you want to wait about 30 minutes before you can move on to the next system. Well, what we found and what's the, one of the cool parts about our job is being able to go in and, and to do those things and to validate and verify what's on the label. But the next part of that is how can we break it? How far can we push these products before something happens uh, that we don't want to have happen? And what we found with the ORS system is, is that we can pretty much put this down instead of two to three medium coats, we can just put it down in one coat. Instead of waiting five to 10 minutes in between flashes, if we put it down with one coat, we're done. The next part is, is that we don't have to wait 30 minutes before we move on to putting the factory pack on. We can actually come straight in behind it while the, the easy coat is still laying there somewhat wet. I mean, it's going to flash off as you move across the panel on these larger panels like this. But it allows you to basically go wet on wet on wet. Now, 
there is a fine line there. You have to learn the limit of how you spray this product. If you spray it on to the point where it's really puddling up, then obviously you want to back away and give it a couple of minutes for flash time. But once you get the hang of how this product sprays and how heavy you can spray it, you don't need to worry about that at all. Spray it on, and I always tell guys and, and the ladies that come through for Sin School, make sure you spray it kind of like you spray hairspray. I know nothing for guys, we don't spray a lot of hairspray, but you see a lot of women do it. Spray it in light coats and move across until it gets covered. Don't just sit there and hose it on. So first things first, we want to make sure that we clean the panel with SimSoft, which is our wax and grease remover for paint and bare metal surfaces. And you want to come back with a gray scuff pad and scuff the surface. And then of course, blow it off and re-clean it again if necessary. And then you're ready to go. Tack the panel off if, you, if you're going to go that route. Then we're going to start in with the easy coat. First things first, We've already shaken these cans, but make sure that you shake your cans well. I can't emphasize that enough how many times guys pick up a can, they shake it until they hear that marble rattle, and they think that's good enough. That's not good enough. Make sure that you shake it really well. So we're going to go in and we're going to actually do this. So as you can see, that was a really easy thing to do to be able to trim out that radiator support. We did the easy coat color, we did the factory pack, we did the, the 1K HS semi-gloss clear, all and I think it was somewhere around seven to eight minutes. So pretty quick to be able to do that. Just think, at that amount of time, a lot of shops, you couldn't have even moved the part over to where it needed to be trimmed out, much less get it trimmed out. So it saves a ton of time. It also saves things like the, the, the disposable cups, uh, that's one of the things, and first of all, I want to make sure that everybody understands I'm not advocating that we go back to the old aluminum style cup. Um, I love the fact that we have disposable cups and the, and the liners. However, I don't think a lot of people realize just how much waste there is involved with having those. So being able to do that with an aerosol, we eliminate all of that as well. So what we found is, is that we can actually save shops about 85% and the amount of time spent being able to do the same job. Now, one of the other things I wanted to point out too is that yeah, up here at the top, I fully covered the, the Easy Coat Color with Factory Pack, but down here at the bottom, you can clearly see some of the Eco Color shining through, and that's exactly what these parts look like from the factory because sometimes the robots just can't get in close enough to get that paint completely covered. So being able to do this with the aerosol allows us to be able to duplicate that thing absolutely perfectly. It's very quick. As a matter of fact, just in a couple of minutes, that's already dry. So 15, 20 minutes, it's gonna be dry to the touch where you can actually lightly handle it. Um, and you go to put it on the vehicle, if there's any weld throughs or anything like that, very easy to touch up. Hope you liked the video. Hope it's uh, something that you guys can use to help speed up production in the shop. Thanks for tuning in.